here on one of those barrier islands, 1.5 million people, again, in forced evacuations, uh, mandatory evacuations, yet some don't. And Martha, it is the most eerie thing to hear in another day or two, the 911 calls from sheer panicked people begging for someone to come help them, and no one can go help them. There's going to be a massive storm surge, unprecedented. The water will rise up. Nine to 11 feet. There is no way to swim your way out of that. This is going to come up. It is coming on shore, forced by wind, high winds that we've never seen before here in Central Florida. And yet people feel like they can stay and hunker down. Bad idea. Please don't do so. There is still time to get out. Get out and get out now. We want to go live right now to Steve Barrett, who is in Melbourne. And Steve, the last time we checked with you, you were on top of a, a parking garage. Looks like you're still there. We're still up here. Um, the good thing about covering a hurricane now, as opposed to like 12 years ago when the same thing was happening here, is that you've got a lot more technology. I want to show you something that we can use now right on our iPhones. You know, this this is how I monitor the wind here, and that's just the wind direction, so we can make sure that we are safe and that our equipment is safe. Look at that thing. It looks like a black hole of wind. That's just the wind getting sucked right there and spinning right around Matthew. Now, another interesting thing I just found out a little while ago is that all day, uh, workers with railroad services have been scrambling to take down, and here's a, here's a railroad track right over here. I was talking to one of the guys. They're taking down all the crossbars. They take those down so that there's not much damage so that they can put them back up and they can quickly have trains moving back through here to bring in supplies and things like that. But I'll tell you a scary thing that they told me that happened at one of these crossings right here in Melbourne just a little while ago was that a man they believed was drunk actually ran through one of those crossbars. So people... Uh, do very dangerous things and of course they start getting the hurricane party going and things and then they figure they'll go out and drive around and see what's going on very very dangerous to do as you said we're still up here and we can see a lot of lights but you heard rick scott the governor was just talking about how the power is going to go off and uh he didn't he didn't mention brevard county yet but i can tell you somebody's probably without power because about 15 minutes ago we heard one of those loud bangs it, it scared me the first time that i'll probably hear a lot more of them around here but somewhere right off in that sort of dark area, transformer blue. So I believe there are probably at least a few houses now already in Melbourne that are without power here. And uh, as the governor said, that is going to happen a lot more. We're probably going to be able to be up here and just watch the power go out as the night continues here. Back to you guys. That is always a wild thing. Thank you, Steve. And uh, we want to go now to this video of the surge that happened in Daytona Beach. This is uh, from uh, a viewer named Mike. You can see any, if you have any video, uh, please send it to us. Do it safely. You can send it to Matthew at WFTB, but this is um, pictures right now of that storm surge that uh, happened, daylight hours in Brevard, but right now it is uh, approaching 7.30. It is dark out, and uh, again, folks, we do not want you on the beach. Now is the time to be safe indoors. We will bring you the pictures, but we want you to be safe. It's crazy, too. I covered um, a hurricane right there at that very entrance ramp, Martha, and it's like snow that comes it was a much smaller storm than the one we're going to experience here. Uh, Michael Laparty is in Brevard County at the EOC. Water has been shut off to virtually all of Brevard County on the, uh, again, the ocean side, on the barrier island side. Michael is also going to report on the number of shelters. You have heard, Michael, that 15 shelters already have more than 2,500 people in them. 